Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here. I'm going to just go over an interesting addition that you can make to your date query that you might be generating uh, within Power BI or within the query editor of Power BI. And so I'm just here landed on a forum uh, post uh, which actually lays it out so I'll make sure that the link is um, placed in the description of this particular video but basically this is this is actually a common requirement I get this I get this quite a bit so I thought it was about time we made we made a video on it now what um, what we have here is you've got to you still got to use the old date table template um, which is which is a text file that you can get inside the ultimate beginners guide to power bi and the ultimate beginners guide to dax um, courses so definitely jump into those the the, the download is made available there um, and basically it's a text file that you place into um, the query editor and it generates a, a date um, table based on the date parameters that you put in you might let's say I want it from one particular date to another date so you actually put it in what we're going to do here though is we're going to make the table dynamic based on your actual data okay so you don't even need to go and put the date parameters in yourself. You can actually generate the um, date table just automatically based on the dates that, that the um, that the query sees when it actually um, computes within the, the query editor. Okay, so let's just do it. Let's do it. I want to show you how, how it actually all works. So, so we're going to create a dynamic date table based on live data. Okay, so uh, what I wanted to show you first is, is what, what are the um, overall uh, dates that we have that we currently have in our sales table, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate um, the min in DAX so we can actually see them. So I've got min, um, and you've got to remember that we're using this, we, we want to go order date here because we actually want to, the, the sales table is our, say, fact table. And because I've actually got some slices here, what I need to do is I need to actually go all dates. I need to remove any filters that or context which is coming from that slicer. Okay, so I'll create that one, and what I'll do is I'll just copy this and create a new measure where I will call this one the overall max date, right? And then I'll change this to max. Okay, so if I bring these in here, let's see what they come up with. I uh, will turn it into a card so we can actually see the time. So it looks like the very first date in our um, in our current fact table, so our sales table, is in 2014, and the last date is 2018. Okay, our date table though would be likely different to that because so the date table that we automatically generated already because we input the dates okay we input them when we're utilizing that technique where you come into the query editor and then you so you see here dates query um, by utilizing this code which is the code that's made available it's just in a text file you'll see here that we actually input the dates ourselves so utilizing um, these parameters that's what's going to generate the um, entire date table code based on what we place in there and that's what generated this particular date table here okay so what I want to do I'm going to just duplicate this um, and I'm going to name it dynamic date okay I'm going to show you how you can actually change um, dynamic dates change it very very quickly and easily within here based on the um, forum post based on what is it the solution which is actually in the forum post so I'm going to use it as well okay so um, what you're going to do is you're just going to come to source, so you can generate it, and then you, you could you could ultimately this is this is what you should should do. If this is what you always want is you can you can just make the change um, in here to the actual query. So actually, sorry, to the dates query here, you can actually change this around to actually um, be able to take this new code. But what I'm going to do here is just show you how you can overlay it. Um, and so I've created the dynamic dates. I'm coming back here. Now let's have a look. I'm going to go and grab this first bit and I'm going to paste it into here where the first date is. Okay. And so it says list min and then I've got to make sure I name these right. So my sales table is my fact table and the column of my dates that I care about is the order date. Okay. So I've added that in there. Then I'm going to grab the second part here from the forum post. And so you see it's already updating because um, because it's grabbing the initial, the first date. So you see here that this particular date goes out to 2020. Well, I'm going to change this a little bit 
um, by going sales here, order date, right, and then click like that, okay? And then if I go and push enter now, this particular entire table will now be totally different, right? And so this is how you could also, based on your data, and you can make that this, this means that it totally, it will always update based on any changes that occur in your sales table. So as more data comes into your sales table, your date table will now um, adjust based on the, those new dates. Now, the one thing about this second um, parameter here, which is sort of like the end date of that date table, is that this duration part of it enables you to say, not go to like the very last date on your data, but actually add days onto it. So in this particular case, it's adding 30 days onto the very last date. So just give you a bit of wiggle room um, uh, post that date. So that's a, it's an interesting concept that you gotta really think about because say for instance, you wanted to run some sort of scenario analysis, right? Well, you don't wanna just cut off your date table like the day of the last date. You wanna add a certain amount of time so that you can do that analysis in the future. So so just something to have a, have a really good think about. Um, and what this will now do is, if I go close and apply, um, obviously you don't need two date tables. You would obviously probably do that to your main date table. But if I just have a play around with these measures, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, once this goes in here, I can come over into here. And so you see here that it has, let's have a look. I think, it, did it already change maybe? It already changed. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm confusing myself. This is the this is the this is the order date now. So if we say change this max, let's actually change this max. It was sort of 2020. Now if I go dynamic dates date, so I have a look at the very max date that we have got there. It should be slightly above this particular date here. Yep. So it's basically 30 days past that particular point, and then this particular day I think is actually exactly the same. So. If we come in here and we say min dynamic date just to double check what it is I think it, I think it should be exactly the same it is exactly the same okay so that's how the, the the demo data was originally set up okay so I'm gonna wrap things up there hopefully hopefully you can see that this is very possible um, you know, I do get this request quite a bit and I see it a lot in the forum. So members members continually asking it and so just directing them to this particular post and now create a video on it. So you can see exactly how um, how it all operates. So this is my recommended um, tip. You know, I've always said um, I prefer creating d date tables in the in the query editor. Um, just utilizing that text code that you can get from the um, Ultimate Beginner's Guide courses um, at Enterprise DNA Online. Um, if you sign up there, I highly recommend running through those courses. It's the best starter you can you can ever get with Power BI and especially DAX. And so if you jump to portal.enterprisedna.co, you can take these two courses and you'll find those particular downloads. Um, and then you can just make these small adjustments to that code and then it's a dynamic date table. So pretty, pretty um, handy stuff. Okay, that's all for me. All the best. Um, definitely subscribe uh, if you like content from Enterprise DNA, really want you on board and um, hey, throw the video a like if you really enjoyed this content, really appreciate it. Okay, all the very best.